Gorilla physics. Yeah. So this is a really simple way to understand moments. Moments are an effect of forces which cause objects to turn. So if I hang a weight, a force, on this side of my fulcrum, you can see the fulcrum rotates, it turns. Now I could balance that out quite easily with one mass on the other side, on the third rung. You can see now the clockwise moments are equal to the anti-clockwise moments and the fulcrum is balanced. But there are other ways I can balance that out. I can balance that with three masses or three weights on the first rung. So now that also is the situation where the moments are balanced. A moment is a force, that's the weight in this case, times a distance. And the distance, I'm just arbitrarily using the rungs as distance, is 1, 2, 3. So on this side, our moment is 1 times 3. It's 3. On this other side, I have 3 newtons of weight. And I have it on the first rung, so our moment is also 3. Now if I unbalance this by adding one extra weight here, I now have a moment on this side of 6. And so the moment on this side of 3 is not going to be enough. Clearly, I could add three more masses or three more weights to this side. And that would indeed balance it out. But there are other ways to make it balance as well. The moment on this side is six, so if I had three on the second rung, that also will be a situation where the moments are balanced. The forces are different, but the moments are the same. It's a very interesting point. And we can use that idea to multiply forces and uh, work with forces in loads of different ways to give us a mechanical advantage. Okay, it's going to really help you if you get used to the idea of ratios. The ratio of the distance on this side is 3 to 2 on this side. So the ratio of weights is 2 to 3. And so because the moment on this side is equal to the moment on that side. Ratios are going to be particularly useful when we're talking about using levers as force multipliers. So here, if this is a brake on a mountain bike, I'm going to be applying a force here at distance D1 away from a pivot. Now the force is going to be multiplied here on the actual piston of the brakes. And that is going to be multiplied in the ratio D1 to D2, where D2 is the distance between the um, piston and the pivot. So in other words, the ratio D1 over D2 is going to be the ratio of force and multiplication. So if that ratio was, if this length, sorry, was twice this length, then the ratio would be 2. The force here would be twice the force here. And if this length was four times this one, then the ratio would be four, and the ratio would be, the force here would be much higher, four times higher than the force here. That's all working from the equation. Moment is force times perpendicular distance. And that perpendicular distance is very important. If I look at this diagram here, this on a, if we can say this is a pedal, a crank set, okay, the force is straight down on the pedal and this is where the moment is going to be greatest because a, f a moment uses a force times a perpendicular distance from the line of action of that force to the pivot. So if we look at this situation here you can see actually the moment is going to be slightly less even though the force is the same because the perpendicular distance from that line of that force to the pivot is less than in the previous case where the crank was horizontal. A very important thing to understand. And that right angle, that means that perpendicular distance means that the distance is at right angles to the line of action of the force. Now in reality, we don't push always the pedal straight down. And this is also why clip pedals can be extremely useful of applying the maximum possible moment at all times when we're rotating those pedals. 
Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people. Also, please go ahead and check out Gorilla Chemistry and Gorilla Biology. You can expect the same sorts of things, past paper questions and videos to help you understand topics. Thanks once again for watching.